What's up guys, this is Crazed here, and today I'm playing Diminishing Kings on Freight. This is of course an action sack in Halo 5, and I'm playing with Logan Grimnar, Happy Bob Lives, and Reclaim. Had a lot of fun playing this, I really enjoy King of the Hill, I think, I don't know, it, it's not it's not strongholds, it's definitely not strongholds. And this is a unique one, you have to stay in the hill, and you stay in long enough, and then the hang hill like will disappear after you collect so many points out of the hill. And it's a fun little game type. Really wish this would be in some other area at some point besides Action Sack, King of the Hill in general. But I guess we're gonna use what we got here. <laughs> but anyways, we do have some news. Uh, if you are not aware, back on the seventh, and this is coming to you a little late, but so you probably already know this. But I just want to make sure. Uh, you guys do know it and of course share some of my thoughts on this we do have some news on the master chief collection update not a lot but we do have something and i do forgive or <laughs> please forgive me for uh, any uh, future videos where i mention that we don't have any news because you know i tend to pre-record videos that way uh, when i go to work at week during the week uh, and i don't have the time uh, to make a current video um, that's what I do. I upload it and pre-schedule stuff. So do forgive. I probably got maybe two or three I might have uploaded that might mention that we don't have news. But we do. All right. On to what we do have. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is something that they are calling intelligent delivery. What this particularly means is that when you initially buy Master Chief Collection or if you've uninstalled it and you want to reinstall it, it's called uh, Intelligent Delivery. You can select after an initial download, and then you can select what content you want to add to it. So you don't have to download the entire Master Chief Collection. Now, the only concern I have with this, and I don't really address it, is um, the whether or not the uh, multiplayer side, can you download uh, Halo 3 and, and download Halo 2 but not Halo CE or you know that type of thing. I'm just kind of wondering if that's what they're talking about. Now it does speak specifically to languages uh, for independent council language, location settings or um, where they did that stuff and that would be separately you could download that stuff separately. Um, which would be kind of interesting. I ought to download like the Spanish version just to see. <laughs> Doble kill. <laughs> whatever they say uh, in Spanish when they get a double kill or whatever. That'd be kind of neat. Kind of neat to see that. But anyways, there is that. Um, I do have concerns about it. I don't know if... Because if, like say, I don't want to play Halo 3... And I just not download Halo 3, and then no one else can play Halo 3 as long as they're in that party with me. That's my concern. I don't know if that's going to be the case or not, but it's something to at least ask in the future. All right. Uh, next thing, they are doing some network testing, and it's all in-house yet. And they're going to be doing something called flighting. Uh, if you have participated in the Sea of Thieves uh, beta, that's kind of what this is going to be. It's just going to be like throwing it out there to the community to get a stress test uh, of course to find the bugs that we don't know about because there's bugs that you just will not find unless it's just thrown into the wild and there's going to be a a list of bugs that they do know about and are aware of and are still currently working on when they do finally partake in this now when are they going to start throwing this out to the public is unknown yet at this time Hopefully soon, hopefully soon, and if you want to participate in this flighting or this preview of what's coming to the Master Chief Collection, what you're going to have to do, and it's not absolutely mandatory but definitely increases your chances of it, is that you have to be part of the Halo Community Feedback Program, and I'm going to leave a link down below, and of course join the Xbox Insiders Program. Uh, that will also help you get a preview of the Master Chief Collection if you wanted to do that. So do keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't want to, uh, by all means, you, you can just skip that. And you don't have to download this uh, new version of the Master Chief Collection uh, until it does go fully public. So something to think about. But I kind of want to see. I want to partake in this preview. So I'm definitely signing up for it. 
Now there is a something else that they called for, and it was a features wish list. And there is a thread on the forums. I'm gonna throw that link down below as well. So you guys can go and throw your thoughts on there, what you guys think, what you would like to see. But there is a small features wish list, and this is probably like the top uh, seven or eight of them, what, whatever. And some of them, they said, are a little far-fetched. They can't really do it. Some of them are something that may be in the works already and something that they really want to do. It's just giving them an idea as to what priority they should really put stuff. I'm just going to go through a few of them and share a couple of thoughts on them and go from there. All right, the first one is a custom games browser. And they talked a little bit in depth about what they're looking for here. Um, they're looking at either one or two routes. One is the... Uh, the PC version, like Halo 2 Vista or Halo CE Combat Evolved Custom Edition version, where you can kind of create your own little playlist, and then you can have people join and and just go from there. Now, that would be kind of cool. That's the way I kind of would like to do. I could create my own maps in this playlist, my own custom settings. Um, <laughs> if I want to play shotguns, uh, shotgun CTF on Chiron TL34, Hey, it's in my playlist, and I think it'd be crazy fun. <laughs> but that's the one way they're doing it. Uh, they're thinking about it doing it. I don't know if they've decided yet or not which way, but the other way is more like the Halo 5 version. You get into a single game, and you join uh, that player, and you play that game out. So I'm kind of wanting for like a little playlist thing, because I think that would be really fun, especially if I can set up the whole thing and make my own settings and go from there. That's one thought. All right, Halo Reach. Uh, they said this is one of those things that is a little bit far-fetched at the moment. Not out of the question in the future, but a little bit far-fetched. Uh, they, as much as I was kind of hoping that we'd have some type of freshness game of some kind this year in 2017, it might not be happening. But I was hoping, and uh, you never know. You never know. 343 three kills still could do that whatever i mean they did it to us for halo 2 anniversary uh they said nope it's not happening it's not happening it's not happening all the way up until e3 and then they reveal halo 2 anniversary which would have been nice almost as a separate game but they did it uh they still did it and they said no way are they doing it so i'm still holding on hope but not going to hold my breath all right uh additional expanded spartan customization absolutely uh, they didn't really talk about that too much in, in excess, but it's just one of the features some uh, people would definitely would like, and I definitely would. Rather than having your custom armor set, or your armor set, just having your armor set, you can go back into changing your shoulders, chest piece, helmet, and just everything that you want to change that you can change. Absolutely, I would love to see that. All right, Halo 3 ODST Firefight, something else they said was a little bit far-fetched at the moment. Um, hopefully, hopefully in the future, and hey, hopefully we'll just get a fresh firefight, I mean a real firefight from a future Halo game maybe. Alright, and they also talked about a UI menu refresh, that would be really nice to have. Uh, just a little bit of things like uh, going into your battles and, and your uh, whatever you've earned through accommodations or whatever else. That would be really nice to have so you can see what you've unlocked. The biggest thing right now is you go in there and you have these little markers that show you what you unlocked, but as soon as you go over it, hey, it's gone. You don't know if you unlocked anything or not. So that would be really nice to have, just a general menu refresh. All right, um, another one of the top wish lists is a new XP ranking and progression system. Absolutely, this is something definitely on my wish list. I'm thinking like an overall ranking system and this ranking system being tied to stuff being unlocked and that customization, you know, that's stuff I'm really hoping for that would really bring back a lot of the, the grind. I know, I know, a grind, but if it's a grind and you're getting stuff, that's something. That's something worth doing. Um, so I'm really hoping that that's going to happen. Uh, they, again, they did not go into any more detail on it other than that that is something that is on the wish list. <laughs> um, let's see, hey, add Halo 4 missing content. Uh, absolutely hoping for that. 
Um, let's see, a file share, file browser, that's definitely on my wish list. They had make a uh, workaround for that. Unfortunately, it doesn't really get used much anymore. Hopefully, a real file share and a real file browser. And that goes for the next game as well, Halo 6. Come on now. If I want to find a map, I, want, I don't want to take the time is like look up specific maps online or go to Forge Hub or whatever else. I just say, you know, I want a 1v1 map. I'm going to play my friend and, you know, I can set in my little tags, 1v1, uh, competitive. Uh, you know, I could set my tags up and I could find maps. And, of course, that goes for the uh, clips and the screenshots and all of that. A real file share, file browser would be awesome to have. I hope we get that. All right, and a party up system. I'm not really sure what that in particular means. I think it already has a party system, but maybe it means that you just stay in the party when uh, a match is done and you don't get out of the party or, or you don't get kicked back into the lobby. Because I think that's something else that they did talk about as well, is that you're just going to go from one game to the next and not get kicked back into the lobby. That is awesome news that we're going to have that. Um, uh, emblem system, is it going to be fixed? I don't know. Uh, they know it's a bug and hopefully they're going to be working on it. Now that particularly, I think, affects Halo 2 multiplayer. Um, I think that's the biggest one. But uh, you go into Halo 2 multiplayer and everybody's got the circles. No, nobody, else, nobody else has it or has anything different. So it's kind of hard to tell emblems. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yes. And they talked about the voting system. Uh, guess what? It might be going away. Now, I don't know for sure. I don't think they're probably still discussing it. But currently, if you jump on the Master Chief Collection, and I understand this, as I, it happens to me all the time, you want to play something you know, a little different, but Halo 3 gets voted for constantly. It's constantly, constantly, constantly voted for. So what they're thinking about is going to more of the random thing, such as Halo 5 has. Um, I kind of is, I don't know how, what I think about this, to be honest. I think it's probably a good idea for this, uh, mainly because there is a large variety of content that never gets played because Halo 3 gets voted for. Now, I'm not saying Halo 3 is a bad thing to play, but I also remember so many times, so many times, on the forums and on Twitter and everywhere else is everybody's Halo 2, Halo 2, that Halo 2, Halo 2 is the best ever, best ever. And then why does Halo 2 come up and we don't vote for it? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> but that's uh, that's my thoughts on that. I, I kind of think it's a good thing. Um, a large portion of, because what I like to do for me personally, what I like is I like variety. Uh, that includes the game types and whatever because if uh, let's say you have a Slayer game type going up against a oddball game type I love playing oddball I don't like playing it all the time but I do love playing oddball but the Slayer type is going to get voted for almost guaranteed all the time unless you're playing with people uh, friends and you can kind of control the vote a little bit so I'm kind of indifferent. I'm right down the middle on this. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out. I hope it's going to work out okay. But it's something um, it probably is going to be a good thing for this. Uh, is there plans to introduce a join-in progress for custom games? Yes. Uh, so if you are creating a custom game, you can just have people join you. And that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Especially if they introduce that playlist thing. Man, I really hope they introduce that playlist thing. I'm going to make some crazy, crazy game types, and I'm going to have fun. <laughs> I'm going to have the fun that 343 refuses to have in Halo 5. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad, but I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> uh, what else are they planning? Uh, they plan on adding land support uh, for MCC. So there you go. Good news. If you got some friends and some Xboxes, there you go. Uh, let's see. What else are they talking about here? Uh, there was talk about bringing it to the PC. Is it going to happen as of right now? No, as of right now. Uh, however, they're updating and improving on the MCC for the Xbox. There's still plenty of work 
uh, to be done on that front. Uh, we have no official plans, uh, but they say they have heard you loud and clear, so that might come in the future. And with the Xbox Play Anywhere program, hey, you never know. That very well could happen, uh, probably sooner than we think. Uh, let's see, anything else that I can really see uh, that might be of interest to you? Um, will there be any future updates to MCC after this massive one? Uh, they say yes, and that is the current plan. Now, this do keep in mind. Uh, the one thing that they want you to know is that this is not um, an all-inclusive. Everything I mentioned here today is not all coming in this one patch. Uh, they're going to be putting this out slowly. Uh, one, I'm not going to say one thing at a time, but a few things at a time and then going from there and they want this done right and i hope it's going to be done right because i'm going to be honest with you without a new game on the horizon i'm probably going to be a lot uh do a lot of time in the master chief collection so you're going to see a lot of that gameplay i think on my channel but that is the current uh, situation on the Master Chief Collection. Again, we don't know when they're going to really start rolling this out to the public, but uh, do be prepared. If you want to partake in this, uh, go check out the Halo Community Feedback Program and uh, Xbox Insiders Club, just as a, a, another quick reminder if you want to do that. Again, check the links down below. I'll have them down there for you. But that is it for news, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys will have a good weekend and enjoy. Uh, enjoy some Halo. Now, I've been playing a lot of Reach. Uh, been enjoying that. And, of course, uh, I jump in uh, Master Chief Collection quite a bit as well. All right. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Like and subscribe.